Okay, let's talk about tuning our violin to itself using our ear. First of all, you have to have one note in tune uh, in order to start tuning the other strings to that note. So usually, if I'm sitting in a jam session or I'm about to play with a band, I'm listening to someone who has tuned up their instrument or what the general tuning of the jam is. Because sometimes when you're in a jam, it's not always consistent. Often what happens in an orchestra setting is you'll get the oboe player to play a long A note for everybody to tune to. So you have a, a note to start with. So first of all, you're going to want to check your A string. So let's hear my A string and I want you to get it as close as you can to sounding like this. Now when you are playing your A string along with me, I want you to be listening to the difference between the two sounds that is coming at you. If it's slightly out of tune, there should be a little bit of a sound in between the two that sort of sounds like oh, wah, 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 wah. It can be very quick or it can be kind of slow. And the closer you get into tune with my string, the slower that little wave is going to get until if we're hitting the exact same frequency, it's just going to sound very calm. So looking for that calm ocean. All right, here is my A string. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you all to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And if you're looking for a bunch of other fiddle lessons, I have over a hundred lessons now on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash George Jackson. Please support these videos there and you can access tons of extra lessons. Okay, now that we have our A string in tune, we're going to check the E string. Now we're going to want to play our A string and our E string at the same time. Now if you can, you're going to want to bring your hand around so that you can adjust the fine tuners. Um, we're assuming that your string is only slightly out of tune. Uh, we're not going to have to use the big uh, friction pegs at the top of the violin um, to make a big movement. We're pretty close, so I'm going to just slightly knock my E string out of tune. And what again, what, what we're listening for here is that difference between the two notes. Now this time, we're not looking for the exact same note because we're looking for the interval of a perfect fifth. And in between an out of tune fifth and an in tune perfect fifth, you are gonna hear a similar sort of difference wave that is gonna indicate that you're out of tune. And then when you hear it go completely still and calm, that's when the interval is in tune. So have a listen to me tune my E string. It's gonna be, it's gonna start slightly out of tune. So here it is. Okay, what you're hearing there is it's quite out of tune, so that frequency is really dissonant, right? That, that sort of stormy ocean, if you will, is really going wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so it's happening very fast. And as I move the E string closer in tune, you're going to hear that wave slowing down until it just reaches that full calm interval. Have a listen. All right, that's in tune now. Now it's quite hard to hear. I'm gonna do it one more time, knock it a little out of tune. tune there okay now I was mo slowly moving it out of tune and then back in tune and see if you can have a listen to that and find the differences there listening to that very fast sort of dissonant wave and then the wave sort of slows down as you get it in tune let's try it with the D string now so I'm gonna knock my D string a little out of tune here now that's going 
blah, 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 blah. So it's not quite in tune. And then there's the calm. All right, and one last time with the G and the D string. Right, this is very out of tune. Okay, it takes a little bit of practice, so don't expect to get it straight away. And how do you know which direction to go? That's a question I'm sure that you have. You kind of get used to it, and you can also just test it, you know, honestly. If it sounds a little out of tune, screw the knob one way. And if it doesn't help, screw it the other way. And eventually you'll find the direction, and your ear will get used to hearing which way things need to go without thinking about it too much. So try this, and just keep working at it and it'll make sense to you very soon, I promise. Um, okay, that's tuning by ear.